Hello, friends. This is Jerry Robinson here from FTMDaily.com. Follow the money. Kind of a red alert. I don't want to give you any kind of uh, fear at all. I don't want to cause you any major concern. But uh, the world is kind of falling apart as we speak. Uh, you certainly have been seeing that on the news every single evening. Uh, the world is just a becoming a very dangerous place. ISIS, Russia, China. I mean, it does not matter where do you turn here in America. It's a very difficult time. And I have a list of stories that I wanted to show you very briefly to help you understand kind of where things may be heading. First of all, you're staring here at a picture. Russia's Gazprom Neft to sell oil for rubles and yuan. Now, this is very, very big uh, as Gazprom up until this point has only been accepting uh, U.S. dollars or transacting in U.S. dollars. This is a major blow. Now, we've been talking about this for a long time. If you've read our petrodollar series before, uh, you know, you know that you know much about this. Uh, Iraq tried to do this. Uh, it didn't work. Iran has tried to do this. It's not working. Uh, so many other countries have tried and failed to get away from the U.S. dollar for their oil. Uh, Russia is the biggest country to uh, actually try to do so. And it's very bold in its move. Um, and China has been very bold to go along with it. And this is a very dangerous time economically. Uh, this is what we're seeing, the breakdown of the petrodollar system. So there's plenty to read on this article. We'll leave links on all of these articles in the description. The next story I wanted you to see, more Russians support annexation of Crimea. Uh, lines are being drawn, both in the, uh, in the NATO areas and in the United States and in the BRIC countries, the Russia, the India, those areas. More Russians support annexation of Crimea. This is pretty big. Take a look at the next story. One year later, Americans back military action in Syria. So again, a very interesting turn of events. Remember when uh, President Barack Obama was trying to push the war after all of the dead children that they showed on TV, uh, trying to convince us that it was important for us to go and bomb uh, Bashar al-Assad in Syria. And then... One year later, uh, we're being told that we need to go and help Bashar al-Assad fight the, the uh, rebels, many of whom uh, we were arming uh, back in those times. So it's again, it's a very convoluted mess, um, but it's very interesting to see that the support for military action in Syria is now uh, overwhelmingly positive as opposed to where it was uh, some time ago. Uh, the next story, this is another shocker. France backs off sending Mistral warship to Russia in $1.7 billion deal. Now, this, um, uh, this is not really a shock that France did this. It's not really a surprise, but just the timing of it. Uh, France has been bulldoggish on its intention to continue to sell this warship uh, and others to Russia, uh, despite some of the sanctions that were coming upon Russia. And so France is uh, making a pretty big move here. This tells us a little bit about what's going on behind the scenes if France is backing off of this, which was such a politically hot potato uh, over the last uh, several months. And then we have Russia and Iran agreeing to implement a military accord, which they uh, first signed back in 2007. Uh, in 2010, uh, the contract was canceled because of UN sanctions. And so this uh, is actually being revived again with sanctions both on Russia and Iran by the West. Uh, this is a obvious move uh, towards further integration and another obvious move of the drawing of the line. Russian General calls for preemptive nuclear strike doctrine against NATO. Now, this story right here should wake you up if you're not awake yet. Uh, this is pretty big news. A Russian general has called for Russia to revamp its military doctrine, last updated in 2010, to clearly identify the U.S. and its NATO allies as Moscow's enemy number one and spell out the conditions under which Russia would launch a preemptive nuclear strike against the 28-member military alliance. That according to Interfax uh, earlier today. 
Now, if you continue reading this story, you'll discover that this is not, you know, as it says right here in the article itself, this is not a colonel saying this. This is not, you know, a private saying this or even a politician saying this. Um, this is a general, someone in the defense ministry in Russia calling for the ability to be able to have preemptive strikes, nuclear strikes, against the 28-member military alliance. Now, this uh, goes on, and uh, you can read here that the 2010 doctrine, which is currently being revised anyway because of the Arab Spring and what happened in Syria and the conflict in Ukraine, they're currently revising this. And so uh, what the general here is saying is, first and foremost, quote right here, the likely enemy of Russia should be clearly identified in this strategic document. Uh, in my view, our primary enemy is the U.S. and the North Atlantic bloc. Um, so very clear here uh, of what is going on in the inside of the defense ministry in Russia. Preemptive nuclear strikes. Preemptive nuclear strikes. And this is why seeing today Russia announcing large scale nuclear exercises in response to Ukraine takes on a little bit more meaning. It also helps explain why the U.S. and the U.K., who are staging exercises right now in Ukraine, uh, takes on some more meaning. It also helps us understand why the Indian troops who have arrived in Russia for Air Force drills. Uh, this is telling us uh, something else here. Uh, also, there was another story that came out. Again, much of what's coming out of the Ukraine is propaganda. There is so much propaganda coming out about this story that it's very difficult to be able to tell what's really happening. But here's all you need to know, that the United States has its own propaganda that it is using against the American people. And Russia has its own set of propaganda that it is using against the Russian people. And so regardless of which story you believe, you still believe propaganda. So that's what the important thing to keep in mind here. There is no right or wrong here with this story uh, as far as what you're hearing because the, you, you don't have the story right. You're, you're, the story is being told by two very vicious actors on the global stage who are very power hungry. And so you do not know the whole story. Uh, I don't know the whole story. And uh, so we can't really make accurate assessments about what the morality of this is. But what we can say is that along with Ukraine, it is looking like it may turn into a great war, uh, which they are saying the likes of which Europe has not seen since World War II. And so my heart breaks for the people who are living in that area, as I do for the Middle East. You know, uh, those of us who live in the United States take our freedom for granted uh, so much, don't we? We just don't think about how uh, how good we have it here in the United States. Um, one other story here is uh, Russia and China kick off construction of massive gas pipeline. Uh, this is the power of Siberia pipeline. It's going to be running from uh, Siberia, uh, I think it's eastern Siberia, all the way to China. And this will be a massive 2,500-mile natural gas pipeline that will be the largest uh, of its kind in the world. And so uh, very, very interesting. If you want to learn more about what we do or who we are, it's FTM Daily. It's follow the money. That's all you have to do if you want to find the truth. Don't listen to what they say. Follow how they, how, what, what they actually do. And uh, that's why we call our organization Follow the Money. It's FTMDaily.com or followthemoney.com. And then also, uh, if you go to ftmdaily.com forward slash petrodollar, you'll find this four-part article series that explains a whole lot about what's happening right now. But it gives you the history of how we got here. So if you're interested in that, this will be very enjoyable to you. And if you prefer to download the uh, PDF, you can just click this button right here as soon as you get there, right below the big header image. And uh, we have put together a really nice color 50-page PDF that you can download by clicking that button, uh, and it'll take you to a, p a place where you can sign up by email uh, for the 
uh, report. And here it is. And there's the report. It's a 51 page report. So if you'd like to receive that, you can uh, fill out this information here and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, thanks for uh, letting me break into your day. You can find us on ftmdaily.com. This is Jerry Robinson signing off. Take care.